I'm going to make a drawing of Florence. This is the Ponte Vecchio. It's a bridge. And let's see. I have an HB pencil, the gray one, and a 2B pencil. That's the green one. So let's try. Uh, let's see if that works out with two hardnesses. Have a little piece of chocolate. Um, first, I'm going to sketch the outlines. Feel like taking some chocolate, but let's first draw the outlines. Uh, there's also some reflection in the water, as you can see. So, what's going to be the the the, the drawing? I want the reflection also to play a part. Anyway, um, I start with this dominant direction here the bridge uh -huh. and there are also these lines that extend into the water So let's see, there is this second arch, is that the word? And then I look at this diagonal to get the following pillar of what is it in the water? You have these technical words for things I don't even know the words for in Dutch. <laughs> Let's see. Also extending in the water. This is not very clear here. I need some more clarity. The third one here. And then there are these little buildings on top of the bridge. It makes this a characteristic bridge. Let's see, I have to check perspective. But it's not really regular everything. The sizes of those buildings vary so to take a look at, at the picture very carefully. And I have to, um, first I'm going to get these buildings on the paper and then I'm going to add some of those windows here and there. I don't want this drawing to look too technical. <laughs> 
it's not a architectural drawing in any way but but it has to be realistic let's see there's a building here I have the tendency to approach this as a sort of texture instead of exactly drawing where each building is and then you have this building here sort of tower almost don't know what this is but anyway And let's see for the uh, reflections in the water. And now I have the rough outline of this uh, area. And it looks a bit messy. And this is, let's say, a sort of skeleton for the drawing. Just adding some windows here and there. And soon I'm going to take the 2B pencil and I want to feel free when I do that. So I have this basic outline and it this was quite complicated to get it on the paper. But uh, let's get some chocolates first. So this is the 2B pencil. And I just want to try to feel certain freedom when I draw and just fill in the tonal values I'm looking at large shapes now adding tonal values to the dark reflections in the water because you have also the air here and here so that this area can be darker
and let's see. I'm adding accentuations here and there. And I'm going from here to there, just randomly adding all kinds of accentuations, especially those windows, give it a nice rhythm. those ridges of those roofs those flat roofs are also interesting Here you have these other buildings. And I just add hatchings and accentuations and total values here and there. While I am doing that, um, more or less approaching it like a sort of abstract piece, I'm not really looking uh, immediately at the whole drawing actually, <laughs> going from detail to detail. Let's see if I can get total values better. And I think these these areas make it three dimensional, these ridges and the reflection in the water. And also the reflection has some of the architecture in it, so try to look at that as well.
see. Um, some areas I still have to do. Let's see if I can clear up a little bit of the structure of this bridge. I'm adding accentuations, all kinds of accentuations. And what I want to do now is carefully work on the reflection in the water reflections. And I'm going to carefully work on the tonal values of the bridge.
Oops. Let's see if I can add some of those movements in the water. Those horizontal lines. Let's see if I can add some careful tonal values to different parts of this drawing. See, this is too light. I find that tonal values add a lot of realism to a sketch like this makes a lot of difference when you 
uh, carefully add total values to a drawing. And I used an HB pencil for the outlines and a 2B pencil now to easily add <coughs> these tonal values. to get this linear perspective better so let's see and well, I'm reaching a point here that I think well should I do much to uh, should I add much to this still or not it should be slightly darker than the air And when you work more on a drawing, certain previously added accentuations and tonal values need some reinforcement because later stages of the drawing change the drawing and what seemed to be relatively dark has become lighter again. So that happened here. I thought it was quite dark, but now I'm, I'm looking at it and I think, well, it should be a bit darker. Because the rest has become a bit darker, I think. So this doesn't stand out as much as it used to 15 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. Or whenever I added it. Um... And reaching a point that I think, well, should I go on with this? Or, I mean, at a certain point, a drumming doesn't get better anymore. You have to watch out not to ruin it. Like I'm doubting whether what I'm doing now makes it better drawing. So, let's see. little bit of atmosphere I don't want this to be totally white so I break it a little bit and I want to work a little bit on the reflection still and then I just leave it at that be 
but I want the whole area of reflection a bit darker here. See, I'm just adding tonal values here and there. That's going to be a long video. <laughs> run out of chocolate so I'm going to uh, finish this soon <laughs> let's see problem with going too far in adding all kinds of refinements is that you lose the spark which made it lively. Um, I think I leave this for example. I don't want to... I mean this is a white area in the bridge. Um, if I go too far working on this Sometimes it, it, it can look better in a way, more refined, but you need to have that spontaneous spark in it as well. And you don't want to ruin that, so on the one hand you want it to be an interesting drawing that you can see what's on it, and on the other hand you don't want to lose, let's say, the spontaneous uh, things which makes it livelier. So I leave it at this. I think it's a nice little drawing and took me a little longer than expected, but whatever. I use these two, HB and 2B, and I use 2B for the tonal values especially. 
Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Bye.